Are you getting ready for Mother's Day this Sunday? It would be a cold person who would ignore his or her mother, the one who gave life and birth. Now, if that's true in the physical order, how much more true is it in the spiritual realm? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki. In other words, every year on the second Sunday of May, and hopefully not just on this one day, you honor the woman who helped bring you to life and gave you birth. You do this because you're grateful for the gift of life she gave you as your mother. And so we do the same for our spiritual mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. She didn't give us our physical life, and she also didn't bring us to new life in the spirit. That was the work of Jesus who died and rose and shared that new life with us in baptism. But Jesus would not have been born so that he could die and rise for us were it not for his physical mother, Mary. So, in a very real sense, we owe her big time. We owe her for being the mother of our Redeemer and Lord Jesus Christ. And we show our gratitude to her because she's not dead and gone, but alive in the Lord, like all the members of Christ's body. Isn't that what St. Paul wrote in his first letter to the Thessalonians? Listen. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers, about those who have fallen asleep so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. So we are connected spiritually to Mary because we are one in the body of Christ. And this is why we thank her, not just one day in the year, but often, especially during this month of May.